Hello, everybody. Welcome to our last little badass school crash course mini Facebook Live insider to the six steps of awesomeness. I am grateful to have had you along this little journey with uh, with me the last week, and I'm loving your feedback on seeing you know you guys loving these little mini. Um, badass Crash Course Lives as well. Hi, hi Sarah, hi Sam, hi Clarissa, how are you guys? It is Saturday afternoon here in Australia, so if you're in the US, it will be your Friday night, so I'll be very impressed if you're on right now instead of enjoying your Friday. Um, and let me know what you've thought of this little mini series and if it's actually helped you decide whether Badass School is for you or not and maybe if you are saving for Badass School um, or you're planning it into your business you know, month or year, hopefully this has given you some valuable content that you can take away and you can share with others as well and just boom your business, boom your network marketing business. I um, sent everybody an email yesterday with some real talk and some encouragement telling you that it is time for you to grow and to boom and you know, enough of playing small and enough of the excuses, enough of the struggle. I think 2018 is a year of receiving and I believe that I have seen so many of you guys work so incredibly hard over the last, you know, three years that I've been working with Casa Brand and this is a year of receiving. You have all worked so hard on your insides and on your business and on your culture and on, you know, how you do things and how you say things and how you communicate and I just want you to know that this is a year of receiving. This is a year where it's gonna pay off and I wanna help you to do that. So that's why I'm putting out so much content for you guys to use and leverage and share and yeah, I just really hope it's actually been useful to you and that you've been able to um, utilize what I've been giving you. So let's dig in to the last week of Badass School, which is week six, sexy scheduling. Yeehaw! This is actually one of my favorite topics. I love structure and I love systems and I love getting shit done. It's like, it fuels me. I like froth at the mouth when I actually achieve results. Like it gets me really excited. And it's a feeling that I didn't always used to have. Like I was always a results driven person. But when I started network marketing, I thought I was disciplined. <laughs> and I thought I knew how to get things done. But really what I was really good at is just doing a whole bunch of stuff and spending a whole bunch of time and being really, really busy, but I was not working effectively. And today I'm like absolutely obsessed with working smarter, not harder. Like if I can get something done in 20 minutes that someone else will spend three hours on, like you go be a hero spending three hours on that, I'm gonna do it in the shortest, most effective way possible to get the best result long term. And if I can automate it so I never have to touch it again, even better. Like that's how my brain works. And the way that I got to this point, I'm finding out the most effective way to, you know, move people through prospecting exposures, the most effective way to book appointments, the most effective way to show up for my business, the most effective way to stay energized. All of the things that we're always looking for in business is through trial and error, but it's also through having a coach help me and support me and show me my weaknesses, which I didn't know. For example, I am extremely distractible. <laughs> And my coach told me that I was distract distractible probably three years ago. I didn't believe her. I was like, no, I'm not. I'm like super focused. Like I get shit done. And it wasn't until I was like walking around my house, like I had to get a notebook or something. And on the way to get the notebook, I noticed there was a coffee mug that needed washing. So then I washed the mug and then I realized that the bin needed changing. So then I changed the bin. Then I went to like go get another liner out of somewhere else. And then I went through the laundry and I was like, I should really do that laundry. And then I did that. And it was this whole series of events that happened before I actually ended up with the notebook in my office and sat back down at my desk. And I was like, oh my God, I am so distractible. <laughs> But that awareness was what was actually able to help me get hyper-focused and really understand how the brain works and really leverage my weaknesses. So now, if I'm, I know that I'm distractible, I make sure that I'm always doing things that are effective throughout my day because I'm somebody that doesn't like to sit and do a chunk of 10 hours of work. I get bored. I get bored probably about after 50 minutes, an hour. So now that I know that about myself, I can break up my time and fuel myself when I need to. I schedule in my gym sessions to energize me throughout the day. Otherwise, I will die in the ass by about one, 
when it's summertime, I don't start work until 3 p.m. because I love that whole morning to bask in the sun. I have a pool and I like to go and sit down by the pool and get sun and relax and listen to music. And that's when I respond to messages. So I work very much within my energy centers. And this is what we talk about in sexy scheduling. So I have two modules of sexy, sexy scheduling. One of them is actually non-network marketing specific. So this is the one that I presented to um, Rotary, Rotaract. And I've presented that to them, I think, twice now, where I actually um, work you through a process of figuring out what your goals are, what your motivation is, what your driver is, um, what your strengths and weaknesses are. And then I work through getting your big goal and breaking it down using the Passion Planner, which I'm sure a lot of you have used before. Incredible tool. So I use the Passion Planner a lot. And we go and use that and we break down what your goals are into small achievable chunks. And then we go a step further and we actually schedule them into your existing life. So I like to give the example of like needing to post mail. A lot of people go, okay, I need to post mail and they try and fit it in, you know, after work when they've got kids that they've got to drop off and it just never happens. And if you're trying to schedule in an activity that's not on your way, it's not in your area, it's not really convenient, you're never really going to do it because anything inconvenient we tend to steer away from. Whereas if you were to schedule in posting your mail when you know you're driving past that PO box and you know you're driving past the mailbox or you know you have an early day or you know you have to go in that direction, it's far more likely to happen. So what I do is after we get all your big um, goals and dreams and we solidify them and we put them in a timeline order and a priorities order about you know, what it is you need to achieve first in order to achieve the second thing, in order to achieve the third thing, we actually break it down into where that fits in your day. And I think um, one thing that I see a lot of people do that really overwhelms them and that stops them, it pushes them into their terror zone. So you have your comfort zone, your courage zone, and your terror zone. And you want to be working in your courage zone mostly because comfort zone, nothing happens. Terror zone, also nothing happens because you do fuck all. So in order to work in that courage zone, you need to be operating in a life that feels good for you, but that's pushing you to actually take action in order to build the things that you need to build. I know a lot of network marketers just focus so much on the mindset on just manifest a team and feel good and it will happen. And I, I partly agree with that. You do need to be high vibe all the time, but at the same time, you actually need to get shit done too. And I think a lot of people completely misunderstand um, their stats and their conversion rates and they don't know their conversion rates. They don't know how many people they have to talk to. They don't know how many of those people say yes. They don't know how long it takes from a first exposure until somebody enrolls or says no. Like if you don't know your stats, you can't accurately schedule your life because you're just kind of going on a kinder. Like, oh, if I kind of talk to 30-ish people, then maybe. And that sort of stuff is really demotivating as well. So sexy scheduling is all about working in your energy centers, figuring out your lifestyle, working out your personal conversion rates, your statistics, and the non-network marketing specific one is all about big life goals. So it's not about specifically how to run your business. It's more about what you want to achieve. Whereas within Badass School, sexy scheduling is specific to network marketing. So I actually go through days in my diary and I show you exactly what I do on a daily basis. Um, in order to build my business. And obviously that changes. So when I recorded Badass School, obviously my schedule was very different to what it is now. But the principles are the same. It's about documenting what you do. It's about celebrating each step. It's about not letting yourself off the hook if you don't do that activity. And it's about actually knowing exactly what you do on a daily basis. So you can't turn around in a month and be like, oh, I suck at this business. I don't have any team because you've seen in your diary that you actually haven't asked a single person to join your business and you haven't moved anyone through an exposure. So when you have it documented, and I always put every activity that I do into my phone and tick it off so that I know if I go into my Gmail, I can see every single activity, every contact, every exposure, every single thing I have done for years so I can track back and look at my activity and look at my strengths and look at my weaknesses and look at what I did and how that converted later on. So really sexy scheduling is more about data analysis as well um, and just figuring out how to run this business in your life because if you're trying to do client activities when you're exhausted at the end of a week, obviously it's not going to go very well and obviously you're really going to be distracted and try and avoid those appointments. Whereas if you were to look at your energy centers and realize you have far more energy um, in the beginning of the week and booking your client appointments on maybe a Monday or Tuesday night are more effective, you're more likely to actually go ahead, book the activity, you're more likely to show up, you're more likely to have a better presence, a better energy, and get better results. And you can do that in less time than if you think you're working your business all week long. 
So the other thing that I go into is perspective. So sexy scheduling is a lot about perspective as well because I see a lot of network marketers freak out when they haven't achieved something in a day, in a week, or in a month, but they completely underestimate the long-term picture. And this is what scheduling is about. It's actually not just scheduling a month. I know in network marketing, we speak a lot about month and strategy and end of month and you know three month and 90 day strategies. But I think if you look at things a little bit broader and sort of zoom out of your life and look at a big picture perspective, you'll feel a lot calmer because the people that you're talking to may not convert that month and maybe not even that year. I've had consultants come on after four years of watching me and I'm now six years in and I'm sure there are people that I spoke to at the beginning of my business who might consider joining my business now. So time is relative and you need to get some perspective on the activities that you do on a daily basis and when you push hard. And I don't know about you, but for me, I'm a push hard person. I can push hard for a month and then I take a step back. Then I can push hard again for maybe another month and then I take a step back. I don't work in my best and in my prime when I'm consistent, when I do things every single day. I work best when I chunk things in larger, juicier chunks so I'm fully focused on one activity or one business you know, for an extended period of time and then I pull out of that and then I focus on something else. So sexy scheduling is a lot about getting you to identify what works for you. And I know I did a live recently about the 5 a.m. club where I said, I'm, I'm not joining the 5 a.m. club. It is not for me. It does not motivate me. It does not excite me. It does not fuel me. It does not make me feel good. I will join the 5 a.m. club when I have children and I have a lack of time and I need to compress that into a morning before I have two-year-olds bouncing on me. But until that happens, I'm not going to do that. So if you are a Gen Y and you have been wondering about the 5 a.m. club, and you feel a lot of pressure to be getting up early and doing this stuff, you don't necessarily have to get up early. The 5 a.m. club is about setting yourself up for success through doing certain activities that fuel you, whether it's eating well, it's sleeping, it's having fun, it's feeling happy, it's having all your base needs met, like Maslow's hierarchy of needs, your base needs met before you move forward and before you progress. So sexy scheduling is a large topic, and it is, it is quite a... Um, it's a very distinct module. It's a very important module. That's why I did put it at the end of Badass School because you might know who you are and you might know exactly the culture you want to build and what kind of leader you want to be and how to talk to people and how to enroll people. But if you get overwhelmed with a feeling of not enough time, then you really need to work on this skill. And scheduling and discipline are a skill that you need to practice. You need to flex the muscle over and over and over again. But you also need to be flexible enough to know that your schedule and the time will always change. Sometimes you're going to be focusing more on products. Sometimes you're going to focus more on business. Sometimes your team's going to need more of your attention. Sometimes you're going to focus on your personal business. So I think people, when they think about scheduling and goal setting and strategy, they're always looking for like a set, copy, paste sort of structure that they can just duplicate over and over and over again. And that's not really how it works. Life doesn't really work like that where it's the same over and over again. So you need to understand how to use the tools of sexy scheduling, the tools like passion planner, tools like discipline, tools like energy centers, knowing and understanding how you work and how you operate so you can pick up and put down different tools when your life demands that. So when you have more time, are you going to consistently work the same way that you did when you had less time? Or are you going to use that to refuel and do the things that energize you, the things that are fun for you, the things that you can then put on social media and then couple with the other activities that you're doing. So sexy scheduling is all about being really strategic. It really is. And if you have done the um, the course, if you have done Bad Ask, or maybe you can comment about what you got out of sexy scheduling so people can sort of see um, you know, what it is that they'll get out of it as well. I know I've got so many testimonials online, but if you are on and if you do want to share you know, what you got out of week six of Bad Ask School Sexy Scheduling, you are more than welcome to. Um, to open up the discussion. But that is the last week of Badass School. We have only, I think, two days or one day left of intake. So if you want to be in this next March intake of Badass School, we are closing the intake um, on the 4th, on the 4th, and we are kicking off Badass School on the 5th. So you only have a couple of days left to actually get involved and to start working on your business and start driving it forward and to have all the support and all the recognition, all the encouragement, and more importantly, all the structure that you can then take those skills and duplicate it to your team as well of you know, figuring out who you are, figuring out your leadership style, figuring out your why, figuring out how and when to run your business. So all the, 
all the skills that you will learn through Badass School are completely duplicable. They are completely relevant to not just network marketing really, but life and business. So I hope you've enjoyed this little mini series. It has been fun hopping on every day and talking to you. This is the last one. So if there's anything else you'd like me to hop on and talk about at any time, please send me an email or a message and I will do my best to get back to you as quickly as possible. But I'm so excited to work with you badasses. I know we've got a nice cohort started in there and we're about to kick off and we're all excited to get going. So I hope to see you in badass school and um, if you have any questions, let me know. But you'll get a few more emails reminding you just to make sure you don't miss out. There is a split payment option as well. And if you are not able to do Badass School, there is other content and materials as well. You can just purchase the prospecting module, you can just purchase sexy scheduling, um, or you can just purchase week one of Badass School as well. And then the next intake is not until I think June. So it is a fair while away. So you're not gonna be able to just hop into the next, um, next intake anytime soon. It is a little while away. So I recommend if you are wanting to kick some um, mid-year and end of year goals to really work hard, do what you can to get yourself in school and get the content, get the videos. Once you purchase the modules, um, they are yours. You, you, you own them. You can watch them as many times as you want. There is no timeline on it. The only thing there is a timeline on is when you join Badass School, you're actually in a support group with me and with the other badasses in the making for two months. And so we sort of work through everything in your business or your social media. It is quite hands-on. There's a lot of support. There's a lot of interaction. I'm in there frequently as well, answering questions and watching your videos. Um, so that's the only thing that you miss out on if you are not active in your time, in your first two months of Badass School is that support group. But after you've left that support group, you still own those videos. You can still go back and watch them as many times as possible. And I know a lot of my Badass graduates have now done it two or three times um, and continue to get new uh, information and new knowledge and lots of new things out of that content as well. So guys, have an incredible weekend. I hope this has been useful to you. I am loading all of these onto YouTube as well so you can go back and share them and watch them again as well. But if you have questions, please let me know and otherwise I will see you guys in school. So have a great weekend. Bye.